I'm one of those guys on the team that whatever is good for the team, you know what I mean? If you want me to play this, I'll play that. If you want me to go serve some water, I'll, you know, go fill up the water cups and give them to the players, man. So it's just, just a team guy, so it wasn't, it wasn't too tough for me. You play in Saskatchewan. <laughs> what was it like, forget the football for a second, just living up there and playing in the CFL and, and that whole experience? Imagine going from Texas to <laughs> Central Canada. It was um, in, in the 30s and 40s. It got cold, so I don't know why. It was cold up there, you know, but I was like, man, I can't go home. When you signed with the Colts, mm -hmm. do you remember what that feeling was like for you? I mean, I was just excited, you know? I had been doing workouts, I had workouts for 10, 15 teams, and just going back at least two of them a week. How long did you minutes. let that feeling sink in before it was back to the grind? Uh, the next day I was yeah. back to work. If I remember right, your first game. Zone, Jay Cubbett takes the shotgun snap, five coming as he throws oh. right, picked up for a touchdown. One, two steps, gone. Touchdown, Jarrell Freeman. Have you guys chatted about that at all? I guess it's good for quarterbacks to have a short memory, but I'm hoping he doesn't remember it. <laughs> Everything that we talked about, all the things that you've done over time to get here, how much has that shaped the way you approach not only your, your football life, but your life in general? It's kind of defined me over who I am, what kind of type of player I am. Uh, just one of those players that I feel still feel like now. Somebody might come knock on my door and they, they might cut me, man. So that's how I go out and practice. That's how I go out and, and work out and train. Go out here and uh, enjoy every day. You know, take, take pride in what you do each and every day.